when you say the the biggest challenge I see in the education space, the biggest that I see, you know, it could be many different classes, is the the way we grade or the way we say you are in eighth grade or ninth grade or tenth grade or you pass the bachelor's, you pass the master's, the degreeing system. Totally agree. And did H find H farm found any solution for this yet? Because for example, I struggle this for my own children. I don't want them to go to school because they are being destroyed. The creativity is being literally raped, if not for the lack of better okay. word. So, and then I have just only, I will show you a video which I announced finally after the frustration that I will enroll the first 10 students in my own learning center, which will, I call it, I don't call it a school, I call it a hybrid learning center. Like I think it would be similar to what you're doing. I want to understand what do I tell the parents happens to their children because the, the, it's scary because we're living in a curve where we are coming from you know 150 years ago there was no bachelors there was no masters there was no matriculation or O levels or A levels then this all this thing came and now we are going to have to come away with this but for some reason I think we want we want this assurance that there is something out there did you and find a solution you, you nailed the point that um, to be more appealing for the business to develop the business because you're going to have the parents, the certifications for the bachelor and the baccalaureate and the Cambridge A level and all these stuff comes to run short term scale in the business. Uh, on top of this, we put entrepreneurship and humanism and uh, computer science not in the way to build an engineer school but in the way to be aware about the technology and the study in the same place an example demo day events hackathons all this stuff they live in this one and we encourage to work and spend months with the startup at the same time they can get the title because the parents who pays the bill is a private school and their title but on this one, we want to build and to leverage the entrepreneurship and our stuff to become the H farm methodology, which has, if I get an example, we want to buy, we already bought two schools. We want to get them by maybe 10,000, 20,000 students. And then I can have more uh, consistency in our methodology and slower, slowly, slow, slow, uh, and a slower pace, crush it to release my diploma, which is now the IB, and they say, this is mine. It's a, we share 50% of topics because it's good. The other 50% is, is what we do. Today, in example, we have parallel courses, which is not outside of uh, any sort of uh, diploma, but kids, they can get access in like weekend, uh, after school, summer camp, during holidays, they can come and they can experiment. If they kids, they can do it Minecraft, they can do it, you know, all the stuff they can get with the uh, computer. If they are older, they can apply for similar acceleration program to experiment what is a, or we have a 3D animation training center, which is completely different way. They come there and they start, they learn to how to make movies in 3D making a movie so they have six months to build a movie started from uh, paper design modeling and then they have to teamwork to get a movie and then they spend three months in stage inside the corporations like pixar all this stuff and the best one comes back to the school and for one year they can work they can make money get the money back the way they invested build their uh, portfolio and go to the market so, as a student yeah. as a young man as a young man so this this is a very interesting model because it's, it is sustainable it creates a circle to renovate also the teachers because teachers comes from former students and today once you walk in that you come to see every movie with some special effect there is at least one student one alumni coming out of the school so so but when the biggest challenge which my children they, right now they go to a learning center and they have uh, groups. Now, when you go to the real world or 
say the outside world or the other world which is parallel to us to ours crazy world the first question somebody wants to ask them is for the ice breaking is okay what grade do you go to and now my children are frustrated and how do i explain to them that i don't have a grade system i don't have a class i don't have a sixth grade i'm not a sixth grader i'm not a third grader during the period of school that can be kind of questions you're going to make it uh then at some point when they get and jump into the real life they understand it was a just a bullshit it's i always tell to my <laughs> oldest son he's 18 so he's going now he's just is finishing the dp2 for the ib and he say you know ib there is some good things or is some things it doesn't make sense he say very good that you found it now is looking for uh, and it doesn't go for maybe university but more for into in interdisciplinary center and they told him not study too much not take serious like you are 18 So don't treat yourself as a student who build its own curriculum with the best and then you can have your graduations and you no spend the same time to be connected with the ecosystem he's in Israel now he's in Tel Aviv Tel Aviv is a great city for young people it's super liberal so everybody's making entrepreneurship so spend half of your time even if your examination is going to be half level build your network go to a meetup think to the day after going in that one and take this couple of years of undergraduation no it's, it's more than enough like a step where you are half serious half student that you jump you know because you are not probably 100% ready to jump into into the real world with uh, some competence to become a startup but your future is doing a startup with someone to deal with someone it could be Harvard it could be whatever culture because it comes from the United World College so he's to you be called it United World College yes. nice both love of, it both of my two older so they they live with uh, people from uh, four different countries and there is a, uh, the peace between the Palestinian and Israeli is the mission of the school so they spend a lot so it's like my daughter she has a, a Palestinian and Israeli and Russian in room and my son as a Canadian as an Albanian as an Arab in room and they share a time you know they go to drink they get drunk together they do all the things the young people does and they have zero zero barriers cultural barriers among the countries could be from emerging countries they don't see the lines zero they see all the positive things coming from the difference to say but tell me a little bit about they say i see you see israeli palestinian together they like brothers you know yeah. when you go to to the they see people, people they don't see the lines right they could be two brothers from the same mother and father could be very different yes because they different is going to be different yeah. so then so they say that's a very important experience there is some good things from the baccalaureate that helps you to become more independent so this is good and then i agree with you it's a completely different i think especially university is going to is a trouble because it, they take too long uh, they are already young people in some countries i can imagine like uh, pakistan india all those countries that struggle with issues serious issues they are even more mature because you know it's uh, i want my kids getting outside of uh, western families because we built the wrong generation they comes like it's not their fault it's going to be our fault to living in such sophisticated society and family where everything is there it's they don't they they going to build too many lines mm. and they say going to a place they do everything you have to do it sleep for years with other people because co-living is a value if you stay in my city in the house i live it's you're going to feel too good you're going to have two beautiful rooms you're going to have great food because your family is uh, richer than the number one and this is wrong for education of young people they at some point they need to go together and learning by the people learning themselves 
and try to make the things to try to emerge as a person with the value of as a person to share as my son shares everything with his peers in the room so he buys some food he takes there and everybody take it so this is very important that you learn at that age because this is going to belong for your life forever you know mm -hmm.